as the world awaits results on exactly who will be presiding over the world's most powerful nation as we ride into the apocalypse, there are still moments of rest and relaxation. This is Lockdown Bard. Uh, this week's poem, it's a cheerful one. It's entitled, The Dead Wife. My soul parted from me last night. A pure body that was dear is in the grave. A gentle, stately bosom has been taken from me with one linen shroud about it. A white comely blossom has been plucked from the feeble binding stalk. My own heart's darling has drooped the fruitful branch of yonder house. I am alone tonight. O oh God, evil is this crooked world that thou seest. Lovely was the weight of the young body that was here last night, O oh King. Sad for me to behold yonder couch, my lawn pallet. We have seen a tall, noble form with waving tresses upon thee, O oh couch. A woman of gentle countenance lay upon one side of my pallet. There was naught save the hazel blossom, like to the dark shadow, womanly and sweet-voiced. Male Veda of the dark brows, my mead vessel beside me, my heart, the shadow that has parted from me, the flower of jewels after being planted has drooped. My body has passed from my control and has fallen to her share. I am a body in two pieces, since the lovely, bright and gentle one is gone. She was one of my two feet, one of my sides, her countenance like the white thorn. None belonged to her more than to me. She was one of my eyes, one of my hands. She was the half of my body, the fresh torch. Harshly have I been treated, O King. I am faint as I tell it. She was the very half of my soul. Her large, gentle eye was my first love. Her bosom was curved and white as ivory. Her fair body belonged to no man before me. Twenty years we spent together. Sweeter was our converse every year. She bore to me eleven children the tall, fresh, lithe-fingered branch. Though I am alive, I am no more. Since my smooth, hazel knot is fallen, since my dear love parted from me, the dark world is empty and bare. From the day that a smooth post was fixed in my house, it has not been told me no guest laid a spell therein upon her youthful, dark brown hair. O oh, men, check me not. The sound of weeping is not forbidden. Bare and cruel ruin has come into my house. The bright brown glowing one is gone. It is the king of hosts and the king of roads who has taken her away in his displeasure. Little was the fault of the branching tresses that she should die and leave her husband while fresh and young. Dear the soft hand was here, O king of bells and churchyards. Alas, the hand that never swear false oath. Tis torment to me that it is not placed under my head. There was a great deal of feeling in this poem, a great deal of personal tragedy, but also a strong feeling of 
possessiveness and fairly sexist possessiveness as well. She's often referred to as an object, a belonging, uh, a possession, and that is partly indicative of attitudes of the time towards women. It's sort of a myth, a very popular myth, that in ancient Ireland women were perfect equals with men. This isn't true. Uh, they were perhaps more equal than they were in other countries under the Breton laws, but they weren't completely equal. And it would have been common for, for men to see their wives as their possessions. Still, nonetheless, this poet is clearly mourning his wife. He clearly loved her and cared for her a great deal. I hope you've enjoyed this poem and thank you for watching.